ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest POV drive with as it drives. Today we have a very interesting car. You have seen it in the exterior and interior review and we have also seen it in the driving's review. It's the Lamborghini Gallardo and it's an absolute incredible, beautiful poster car that surprised me so much in how this car performed. I mean everything it does is actually very good. It's really good to drive. You would expect it to be chunky or uh, somehow chubby and going into the corner wouldn't feel that nice but no it really feels beautiful to drive the engine response is fantastic the shift is a little bit harsh but when you when you know how to shift a sequential gearbox like this one the automated yeah gearbox basically you just lift the foot up from the front look at that put the gear in and then accelerate one more time and the car is going to feel beautiful just by doing that was the police so what is also very nice is look at that next gear in very smooth and if you do that if you continue to do that you won't have any problems with the gearbox or with the clutch life etc because you're really watching for it okay if you always like step on the throttle and push it into the next gear without even watching without even caring of course it's going to break but I'm used to those cars because I drove a uh, Aston Martin Vantage that had a similar gearbox and it worked fine, it worked fine. All right, so let me give you the stats on the Lambo. It is a five liter V10 Spider version from 2008, which means we have 520 horsepower and 510 Newton meters of torque. The car feels rock solid, as I say, and it's for sale for 72,000 Swiss francs. It has currently 89,000 kilometers and still feels absolutely mint. I mean, the interior is beautiful. The steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. One of my most favorite steering wheels ever. And I really like to drive. I really like to be in this car. I feel very comfortable and I feel very safe, which I never expected. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be so harsh and chunky. We're warming the car up a little bit. Oil temperature should be just right now. Oh, that sound. Oh, you hear that? You hear it building up the revs. So nice. Mid-engine car. All-wheel drive. And it feels majestic, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I always used to talk a little bit bad about the Gallardo because I thought it was going to be really, uh, basically a TT on steroids, but I was wrong, I was wrong. It gives you everything it has from two, from 7,000 to 8,000 and it really just feels like you're getting a punch into the head. Maybe I can demonstrate, so we're in second gear now, okay? I'm throttling it now, look at that, power, more power, and now it comes alive. Holy crap, man. Very interesting power output, very interesting, really. Like it would have two turbochargers. Very interesting. Never felt that uh, in a car like this. Never, really. Uh, okay. Let's stop here. Let's do a quick pull zero to a hundred. All right. 
three, two, one. Okay, just let it engage and now. <laughs> there was a hundred! It takes 4.3 seconds for the car to go from zero to a hundred and that's only 1.5 tons. Not even, so that is absolutely brilliant. You may notice those buttons and the MMI, this is all from Audi, you know, it's it's really it's it's basically just Audi. But the way it drives, the way it feels is really really good. It's really a good car. And of course it's going to be a money pit if ever if anything breaks. But I mean if you if you can get one, the experience you get is really something else. It is really something else. I, I do like it a lot actually. And uh, I've catched myself thinking about it a couple of times. I mean this is less expensive than my M2. Yeah, but I'll drive the M2 a little bit and then uh, probably 2024 I'll sell it and buy something old like this again. Yeah, it really is an interesting car to drive. And I feel good driving it, man. It's beautiful. That is mental! 